I'm Rajinder Dudra, I'm Professor of Cultural Studies and Creative Industries at Birmingham City University. So I'm the co-creator of Slanguages. We're here today at Slanguages. This is the uh, first launch at Oxford University. It's going to tour the country. And what we wanted to do with this exhibition was really bring to life languages, particularly West African languages, uh, Pidgin, Creole, Patois and urban sign languages as different forms of languages which don't get talked about or are sometimes just overlooked or people don't know they exist. So this is a way of us bringing to life languages but also languages with their artists and how artists are using these languages, making meaning from these languages but also creating new genres, new artistic forms. So I'm here at the exhibition today to represent uh, the organisation I work for, Punch Records. Um, so we're co-producing this um, exhibition, Languages, but also to learn basically what different languages there are, you know, the sign language, the urban, the patois, the pigeon, something that I never knew about. I think language plays a big part in my work because um, I'm from Jamaica, like I said, um, and they speak Pato over there, so I try to like hold on to that part of me um, and enforce that in my work as much as possible. I've always studied languages because I wanted to know more about the world, and I felt that if you speak uh, other people's languages, you can understand their cultures better. I mean, I'm really excited about the, the urban sign languages uh, thing because I've never heard about such a thing before. There's lots of different sign language varieties that you can use and um, it's interesting actually, the, the urban sign language that I use is actually very popular within ethnic minority communities. Unfortunately their lack of representation in mainstream culture has led to the, the language not being recognised but there are absolutely differences there. I'm here today to support a project that I've been involved in from earlier on in the year where um, we've been exploring languages. Um, cultural identity, different ways of communication, um, but a couple of dope artists involved, myself included, um, and I'm here just to support and get a feel for what's going on with the other artists and also present my work and my perspective on the subjects that we were talking about. Language is everything in my work, language is everything in my life. Um, for me, language is, is, um, is how we entertain ourselves, it's how we communicate, it's how we study, it's how we learn, it's how I express myself, so my work is Definitely based on language as a spoken word artist, rapper, writer. And, uh, I loved, love the way it's been presented. I think it's been a wonderful evening for me. I don't attend many of these evenings, but I have really enjoyed it. And um, language is communication. Without language, I don't think we would be able to interact. So hopefully there's something here for everyone from, um, if you like, school ages right the way through to people at university or non-specialists. I think it's also a great exhibition because it's a talking point around languages and the creative impetus and the creative importance of languages too.